one makes me the most nervous. I did thorough research, but for some reason in the back of my mind, I holy smokers, that was the most unique flower experience. Spring is in the air, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for another edible flowers taste test. This is my five variety plum tree right here, and we are going to do a taste test. Now, the flowers do all look the same, and I'm going to assume they all taste the same. According to Google, plum flowers are definitely edible and apparently taste sweet. I have never tried them, so let's give them a taste test. Here's my very first plum flower. I'm so excited to try this. And I'm gonna give you an up close and personal look at my facial, at my facial expressions. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. If you watched my if you watch my taste testing videos from 2023, I did two or three taste testing flower videos. The plum flower I just tasted was by far the best tasting flower I have ever tried. It tastes so good. I'm gonna have another one or two or three. It literally, it literally tastes so sweet and so exotic. Google did not lie to me. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I can't even describe it. It's sweet, but almost tangy at the same time. So good. I'm going to try another one. The first one actually tasted different than the second one. The first one was like a very boom kind of sweetness. And the second one was almost like a, a bittersweet. Kind of interesting. Now, I'm trying one that's really open, and I think that might be the difference. Mmm. Oh, yeah. These are good flowers. So far, they are at the top of my flower tasting scorecard in terms of all the edible flowers I have ever tried. I'm going to give plum flowers the highest score. I'm going to take a little drink of water between my taste tests. We are taste testing the common dandelion flower right here. We are going to pick one just like that. From all of my research, I have learned dandelion flowers, leaves, and apparently even the roots are edible. I have tried dandelion salad many, many moons ago, and it was good. Have not ever tried the flowers, so this will be interesting. And let's give it a try. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Very interesting. My first thoughts are not a ton of flavor. Mellow. I would absolutely describe the taste of the dandy <laughs> the dandelion flower as mellow. Nothing too strong, nothing too crazy, nothing tangy. Just kind of mellow and Mellow and mild is how I would describe it. I can't really put my finger on any other word. It's got an interesting texture. I actually quite like the texture. I wouldn't use stringy as the word to describe it. It's got like a, I almost want to call it flaky texture, but it's not flaky. There's a better word to describe it. Texture is really, really good. The flavor is like mild and mellow. Really, it's mild and mellow. The next flower we are taste testing is the, the pansy. I will note that I did try a pansy for the first time last spring, but I never tried different colors of pansies. So today we are going to select multiple colors of pansy and compare the flavors. My platter of pansies here and we are going to taste test each individual color. I think we're going to start with the dark purple. There's three different versions of the dark purple. They might all taste the same or they might taste different. 
gonna get a little closer to you guys so you can see my full facial expressions when I try these pansies. It's been a year, maybe even a little bit more than a year since I tried a single pansy flower for the first time ever and I honestly don't really remember what it tastes like. Can't even remember what color I tried but it was probably some version of purple because I have more purple than anything else. But let's give this little guy a taste test. So this is the one that has a little bit of red at the bottom, yellow center and purple top. Give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I would say it tastes like a salad green. I would almost say it tastes like, it's like a flavor, it's like a flavorful salad green, not so much like a lettuce or even a spinach. I would almost say argula, but it's not spicy. It's got a good punch of flavor, but not a spicy flavor, not a spicy flavor. I'm not really sure how else to describe it, but it was good. Now we take a drink of water. I'm gonna try a purple pansy with just the yellow center. The last one had that little bit of red on the bottom. I'm curious if they taste identical or different at all. Hmm. I'd say pretty either identical or very very close same flavor as the first one good flavor but not any different really the two purples were pretty much the same I'm gonna try the third purple this is the one that has kind of like a yellow center and a bit of a periwinkle pastel blue in the middle I'm gonna guess it's the same but let's find out together hmm Yep, so far three purples with different centers have tasted the same. It's a good flavor though. Mellow. This is yellow mixed with a tiny bit of purpley blue at the top. Let's see if that's any different. Hmm. Yes, it is. I taste more tanginess. Very interesting. It definitely had more of a punch than that dark purple. Same flavor category, whatever you would think of the first one as, that lighter colored one is it pretty much the same flavor, but just like, boom, like more, it hits you a little harder, but in a good way. Next, we have this ginormous white and purple one. I'm not really sure, but this one makes me nervous. I don't know why, I think because it's so big. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I would say that one basically tasted very much like the dark purple one with um, not as much of that punch that the pastel gave, but still pretty flavorful. It's got that flavor that they all have, which is basically, uh, I would equate it to Argula without the really spiciness to it. I don't know how else I would describe it. It's good though. It would probably be delicious in a salad. Mm. Cleanse that palate. If you've been on my channel for a while, you have probably heard me talk quite a bit about my peach tree. This is a coconut ice peach tree. And the peaches taste quite significantly different than the average peach. I have equated them to tasting like a tropical drink. That is really the best way to describe them. A tropical drink with the essence of peach flavor. So I'm super curious to taste what the flowers taste like and super excited. So let's do a little peach flower harvest. Right here, my very first peach flower. I'm so excited to try this. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh my. Oh yes. Hmm. Oh my God. 
11 out of 10. I thought the plum was good. That peach took flower tasting to a whole new level. Oh my God, that would be so amazing in a, in a drink, <laughs> a tropical drink, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. I don't drink alcohol, but I know many people do. That would be so delicious in like a summer lemonade. You could put that in a cake in some cookies. Oh my goodness, you could make, maybe make a chocolate with it. It is like 11 out of 10, maybe even a 12 out of 10. So good. I am blown away by the flavor. If I was to describe it, I'm not the best with my taste testing vocabulary, but my analogy with the fruit tree tasting like a tropical drink, I want to say the peach flower tastes like the nectar of a the nectar of a honeysuckle. I don't know what a honeysuckle flower tastes like, but that just came to me when I was thinking about how do I describe this flower? Like a heavenly honeysuckle, but super sweet and oh, I wish I wish YouTube had taste vision. You all need to try this flower. It is just so good and I am super curious if all peach tree flowers taste the same. I don't have on a second variety to compare it to. I might have to shop around <laughs> the city and see if anyone's willing to give me another flower to taste test. The flower we are taste testing is the English Daisy. I'm gonna taste test some English daisies to see what they taste like. We are going to give this English Daisy a taste test. Oh yes. Hmm. Interesting. I do remember googling this one and the information basically said it wouldn't it was bitter and wouldn't taste very good. But honestly, I don't agree. I don't agree with that at all. Well, it's not sweet by any means. It gives me broccoli, kale kind of vegetable vibes. And not in a bad way. I think it would be really, really good in a summer salad. And it's got a really nice texture. <laughs> We're gonna taste test a candy cuff ground cover flower. This one makes me the most nervous. I did thorough research, but for some reason in the back of my mind, I... Holy smokers! That was the most unique flower experience feel like this flower shouldn't be edible but all the sources say that it is so we're gonna go for it I do have Benadryl in my house I do not have an EpiPen but hopefully we don't need anything oh whoa hmm very interesting not in a bad way Wow. Let me take a drink of water. It wasn't bad, but it was like a shocker. Holy doodles. Now, the first word that comes to mind is argula. The second word that comes to mind is nasturtium. I feel like if you melded the flavor of both a nasturtium flower as well as the foliage, mix that with argula. Then you have the flavor of a candy tough ground cover flower. It's like a huge pop, like boom. <laughs> it's like boom, flavor right just hits you and in a good way, but very, very powerful. If you don't like spice, you probably won't like it. But if you like a really good bold pop of flavor in your salad or some other dish of greens, 100% go for it. If you have access to Candy Tough Ground Cover, your flavor, your dish is going to explode with flavor. Next, we are going to taste test my Hascat Berries. If you're unfamiliar with what a Hascat Berry is, here's one of the original tags from my plants. This is a female version. And they are all in full bloom. I have three of these plants. And we're gonna take a couple flowers. These flowers are fairly small, kind of yellow-like, and the bumblebees love them. But we're gonna sacrifice a few flowers for this taste test. A 
we've got two tiny, tiny little house cap flowers right here and we're gonna give them a try. Hmm. Now this is, this is interesting. If I was to tell you what they taste like, all I can say is they taste like nothing. I'm not sure if it's because of that last one, the candy tough ground cover that I ate. I mean, I did a very thorough cleanse with my warmish water in my mouth and my palate seemed clean. But if I was to describe that taste of the Hazcat Berry flowers, it tastes like nothing, literally. Like it tastes like I didn't eat anything. I tasted a texture. I felt a texture, but I didn't taste anything. Very interesting. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a tulip sacrifice and sacrifice this tulip. Although, you know what? I'm going to remove a single tulip petal to give it a taste test. I don't really want to sacrifice the whole flower because I don't have very many tulips. Here is the tulip petal we're going to give a taste test to. Mmm. Delicious mellow i would describe the flavor as tasting like a sweet lettuce super delicious even has a bit of a lettuce texture really really good would be perfect for a salad i hope this video inspires you to go on your own culinary adventure